Hey guys, this is DT Gaming. So I like to um, do a discussion about uh, Call of Wild Angler. Um, so we're gonna look at some pictures that are on the main website. Um, so let's check it out here. So now we can see in this background here that this look like this is the um, the sunset or sunrise. But you could actually tell it's got some really good visuals and stuff. I'm gonna assume that we got barriers, like I think these are buoys, perhaps. Um, but yeah, you you can. It's kind of really blurry back here, as you can see when you go further back. But it's because it's because I'm zooming in and out. And it's also 1080. Um, right, let's check the next picture here. Okay, so we are looking at another sunrise or sunset um, over the lake. You can you see uh, the rocks here and that. Here with the uh, you in the Jeep. Now, I'm gonna actually point something out that when I was playing the uh, Way of the Hunter, right? That it, it this Jeep right here actually reminded me of the exact same thing because we would actually drive around a Jeep in that game as well to get to a destination. Um, I can't make up with that. It may be like a little pond or something. I, I don't know. Uh, there's some stuff going on back here. I don't know what these are. And it looks like that we might be able to do some night fishing. What I wonder. Is it's going to be an online world, right? Are we going to play against other people, or are we going to be on our own? And if that's the case, will the um, the weather be dynamic along with the time? If you think about it, because um, is there fast travel, or is there going to be um, like you can skip the night and sleep during the night and go during the day? That's the question. We know in Fishing Planet that you can actually skip time um, to get a better um, bite rate, which we space the same, based on weather. Now, if you are all familiar with Rush Fishing 4, <clears throat> their game uses a, um, a dynamic uh, weather system and and a, a 24, well, not 24 hour, but a whole 24 hour clock. But each hour is like two and a half minutes. So one hour equals one day. So the question is, is this game going to follow along with um with that? We'll see on when the game comes out. Okay. Okay, look like we got a house here. There's some pick tables and stuff. Um, I'm going to maybe think because when I seen the developers showing a brief uh, gameplay, well, like just casting, that's it. And when they were at the dock, this was next to it, which makes me wonder that the um the life preserver that's hanging. Represent that this is a spot to fish. I, I, I have no clue to be honest with you If it's going to be open world you think you will fish anywhere along the shore uh, You at least would think right and Yeah, the trees look fantastic. I mean even from afar they can actually um, so really well and the foliage I actually appreciate that 
Okay, this is the Golden Ridge Reserve. This is basically um, the village. And we can see <laughs> there's a buck hanging above the the um the road. Not buck, but you know, I mean the the, the skeleton head, the skull. Sorry, geez, can't talk nothing. Uh, Diamond Peak Outpost. You see the American flag. Um, this right here looks like. I have no idea what that is. Like a phone. This might be like a bulletin board right here. Or maybe you can get like quests or something to do. Little park. It shows that little bear and shows the fire danger. That's pretty realistic. You see a little uh, Miles Crower sign here, along with other buildings in the back. So far, the game actually looks pretty good, though. From just the picture alone. Okay, so now we could see that the waterfall right here. This is the picture that they were showing um, on the uh, trailer, and you can see that there is a um, the current. You can see the um, white rapids, the mist. And you can see the detail of the waterfall. And look at just people up here uh, taking in the uh, the scenery, which is pr pretty nice. I like like that. And I can see here that there's a uh, like a what the hell is this a path or um <laughs> I can't think what they call a ramp or a ladder or not ladder steps. That leads up here, where I think that you can maybe fish up here, which is going to be crazy as hell. I mean, I don't think you want to fish on top of a waterfall, but this would definitely be something to check out. Um, just uh, for visuals. But that looks amazing. Okay, now. I'm going to assume that this is an NPC, obvious. NPC Warden Clayton David Johnson, variation one. Um, yep, this is the game Warden. Uh, you can see the badge, the props. That pepper spray? A flashlight and stuff like that. So we do got NPCs in the game. This is another one. NPC shopkeeper Sophia Mary Taylor. We can see their um in t their entire um name brand clothing and appeal. You can see the glasses, the that like a fanny pack. Is that a fanny pack? Scissors and maybe a pouch. Looks pretty good. I actually like that. That's pretty cool with the hat up there. You can see a lure attached to it. That that's pretty cool. There. Okay, the Jeep. Um, really not much to it really. I mean, it looks good. You can see the dirt on the on the wheels as it should since you drive around in dirt. Uh, blue art B voyage jerry can. Uh, not bad. Okay, so now I was looking at this picture here and 
look at the boat. Um, something I don't see. I see the gauges and the and the steering wheel, and the seat. But this might be a, a bass boat, right? Because you can see the. Everywhere else has compartments like such as a live well or stuff like that. I don't see a fish finder. You think there'd be a fish finder because on the type of boats, and usually there's a chair up here where you can sit. But I don't see that. We'll see what the boats have to offer later on. Okay, there's another visual here. Um, you can see a spinning reel here in this guy's hand. This is a river, where it looks, river or stream. Um, the, I like the mist back here. It kind of makes you feel um, like the air or air is cooler or air is warmer. Which actually are realistic looking. See somebody fishing in the boat back here. It looks like either a um old paddle boat or something like that. It looks like a wooden boat from them, I can see. But the water uh, that's impressive. That water looks so real. Okay, we have our NPCs. August we got NPC here and our NPC look at this. You can see the uh, woman carrying a fish here. Looks like a rainbow, you think? Um, the guy's whole... Is that a fly? It looks like a fly in his hand. I mean, that's a pretty big fly. <laughs> that fly looks bigger than his hand. Uh, let's see what else you have here. Uh, bait shop, worms, minnows, tackles, and lies. Beer and ice. Boats for rent. Yellowstone River. Huh. So it's in Yellowstone? Hmm. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this right here is developer build. And we've seen this earlier uh, from other people. Uh, this right here is basically hot zones, what I'm guessing. Um, like, for example, over here in the lighter color, it's supposed to be bronze, meaning that you're going to find the bronze type of fish. And over here, more bronze, bronze, and then back here, which is a channel catfish, this little area back here where you'll find silver uh, rank fish, I'm assuming, and back here, more bronze, and whoops. Um... So what we can see in this area, like this is developer build, so this might not be uh, vinyl. Uh, you can see yellow perch right here. Um, rainbow trout, channel catfish. Um, bass, I'm guess it's a smallmouth bass. And over here is large bass, it must be largemouth. And more catfish. And this right here, it says data map. And you can see right here, it shows fishes, uh, which shows uh, tr golden trout. And rank is gold for the highest, maybe, rank in this area. Um, as for this number, I have no idea what the heck that number means. And over here, is a fish group. Uh, this is total fish, maybe in this reservoir here. Uh, 92 fish total in this area. Uh, ranks go from, um, I'm gonna assume this is J 
and that's bronze, silver, gold, and diamond. As for Jay, I don't know what that is. Maybe it's junior, um, juvenile, maybe. That's probably what it means. And you see that the golden uh, trout, lake trout, and uh, rainbow trout is shown for this area. Uh, how many has spawned? Um, so 52 of the golden, 12 of the lake, 11 of the rainbow. So I'm going to guess it's this, um, this red area all around. It's probably where the fish are spawned. Probably. Like over here, you don't see nothing. But you see a very little spot here on this, this map. But this one right here, this lake, is just littered right up. Okay, this is from um, the 15th. <laughs> um, again, this is developer build. This is probably not the final look. Um, now you see the lilies easily. And you can also see underneath the water where you can see the um, lilies where the stems are at. Um, hell. Trying to click over here and it went away on me. Okay, so we can see it here that maybe this is um, how far the fish is out from you, 4.2 meters. And I'm going to guess this right here, the, the red bar, is the, the spool total. Like, right now it shows in red, like little bar right there. That means that you, you almost got it reeled in completely. And I'm going to guess that's how deep the fish is in the water. So 1.0 meters might be the total depth of this area where he's there fishing. And the fish is at 0 0.1 meters, which is on the surface. And here, I think this is the drag settings. Uh, Z and X, I think, is tighten your drag or loosen your drag. Um... We got a bait cast up here. It's hard to tell how this is actually looks based on picture, but the rod and um, reel looks pretty good for detail. Okay, let's talk about this. Um, we can clearly see what the fish are in this map. Uh, we got a uh, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. That's a bluegill. That's a channel catfish. That's a perch. That's a pike. Um, this looks like um, a sockeye. There's, that's a sockeye salmon, you think? Uh, this. Huh. Is it a walleye or a sogger? That's the golden trout, I think. And I don't know what this one is. I think this is a cutthroat trout. As for this fish, I don't know what that is. <laughs> These two fish, I don't know what they are. Okay, so. Now you can see that there's icon above here. And you can see that Z and C allows you to select uh, these tabs. Now, if you were paying attention to the um, early release of the, well, talk about the game, they said it was only going to be catch and release. Now, I know what a fish net looks like, and this right here. Uh, looks like a fish net to me. So, if we are supposed to throw our fish back, why is there a fish net icon here? And this way here, I don't know what this is. Maybe um, your how much you got total? Maybe uh, fish encyclopedia? Maybe uh, information uh, trophy? I'm gonna assume. 
and maybe these are notes. As for this, I think this is based on um maybe like like a list of trophy like diamonds with that. I don't know. Um, we got our map, we got our backpack, rods, journal, handbook, profile. Um, now the thing I want to know that you can check the map and. The, uh, are you able to fast travel? That is one thing I'd like to know. I mean, I don't mind if I have to walk or travel based on with the vehicle and stuff. I mean, I prefer not to fast travel, but I will if I have to. Like, for example, uh, backpack. Yeah, obvious. That's, we know what backpack is. Basically, your inventory. Um, this is basically your rods. So, we got backpack and rods. Journal, I think, is going to be um, keeping um, tabs of the fish that you caught. Like, for example, you see the northern plate here. Um, it's stats. That's probably under journal. Actually, this is under handbook, not journal. Okay. I'll uh, journal for then. Okay, so let's look at something here so this is supposed to be gold 6.5 kilograms um that's that's not really that big and you see that it shows the best weight uh and best length is 0 0.74 meters uh, best score and the habitats is deep pond, lake shore, shallow lake, and bait and lure preferences. Red worm, leeches, and minnows. And we see traits. Now, the traits, I think this icon right here um, represents that the fish can bite your line. And this looks like the fish can jump all the water. And this icon right here, I think the fish can spool you. Can you see the, the little circle around there and the line right here? I think this means that fish is, can spoil you. Because it's looking like it's diving and it's, and it's running. But yeah, that's pretty much everything to really know about uh, the um, Fall of the Wild at Angler. Um, as the time goes and more and more stuff gets released, I will continue to do some coverage on it and I'll update to you guys as best as I can, as fast as I can. Anyways, if you guys uh, found the video helpful, make sure you hit that like button and I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you so much. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.